Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Right, so I know I've got some explanations to do and I'm actually going to be quick about it. Yes, I haven't uploaded the rest of my holiday videos and I'm not going to, only because the last video that I edited and posted the Kiko Milano review one, I realised that I'd I had edited it wrong. Meaning wise, I don't even know if that's a word, meaning wise. Meaning that every other video that I had recorded and edited after that, I edited I edited it. Is it just me? It was edited it, a tongue twister. But anyways, I edited it all the same. So it was all in the same canvas, but it was all wrong. But I only realised that towards the end when I actually posted the Kiko Milano one. That already started stressing me out and it was just too much to cope with. So I think I just got overwhelmed of, about the whole thing in general. And I was like, no, me starting a YouTube channel wasn't to create stress or make me feel the type of way about it. I'm not trying to rush into making videos or rushing into posting things for the sake of it. So at that time when I had dropped that Kiko Milano review, I just said to myself, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy the rest of my holiday. I'm not even trying to do this stress thing. Not anymore. I'm just going to do it on a calm thing and relax and just not let anything like get in my way. Like, that's making me rush. So that's what I did. And now that I'm back in England, I came back in England on the 6th of January, I'm obviously not going to post the other videos because it wouldn't make sense anyways, because it was all about Christmas just before Christmas, and now it's 2020, it's a new year, Christmas, Christmas is over. So this year I want to start something completely new and all chill and stress-free and do it my, like, no, not my way, but do it slowly and not stress about it. And I don't want to be editing in a rush or recording a video in a rush, if that makes sense. It's all in due time. So obviously that's what happened and that's why I haven't posted anything. So I apologise to all my viewers just because I know some of you were expecting and waiting for the rest of my videos because I got messages and stuff. So I apologise that I'm not posting them anymore. But the videos that I've got upcoming that I am planning on doing are going to be really good and I hope that you can still watch me and still like the sort of videos that I'm going to be releasing and dropping. I don't even know what word to use, release, dropping, uploading, streaming, you know what, I don't even know to be honest, there's just so many words going on. But that's it, that's literally all I'm going to say at the start about the whole Christmas holiday thing. But anyways, the main part and the main focus of this video is uni outfits. Finally, it's time for fashion and only fashion. Obviously, you lot know I have a passion for fashion. So, I like to wear nice stuff. Obviously, I like to dress nice as well. Not for other people, but for myself. I like to feel good. I like to just look good as well. Like, I love fashion. Like, it's a big thing. So, this video is literally going to be outfit ideas that you could use to uni, college, or on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, you could just dress up and wear it. So, I hope you lot enjoy this video. But that's enough of me talking. I feel like I've been talking for ages. And this is just the intro. So enough of the talk and let's get straight into the video. Right, for the outfits bit, I'm going to use my mum's phone to record just because her quality is just banging and it's easier to hold than the camera because this is huge. I'm not really going to take that off the tripod just to show it outfit. But this is the first outfit. I've got a pink purp... I was about to say pink purple. A pink turtleneck. Long sleeve. It's like a bodysuit. It's actually a bodysuit, yeah. See, I've already got makeup here. But anyways, it's a bodysuit. But I don't like using bodysuits, so I just tuck it in like a normal top. And then I've got these flared trousers. Actually, my friend gave me this. My friend from uni. The only issue is it's a little bit short for me, but I still use it because, you know what? He says I can't be different. He says I can't wear short flared trousers. <laughs> and to top it up. You know what? You know the ones where you just get pissed at yourself because you can't. You feel like you can't even speak properly. Like I feel like my grammar punctuation is all going like down the drain. Don't know why, but every time I'm doing a YouTube video, me speaking just goes wrong. But anyways, again, let's try this again. The jewelry that I have on is the same jewelry that I always have on. So I've got this watch that I got given for my birthday. This bracelet two rings on this finger and then two rings on this finger i always keep the rings in the same place and then i've got a cross necklace and then i've got i don't even know what it, this is it looks like like the mockingbird from hunger games but obviously it's not 
we've got this from Primark and then the crosses from Portugal and then I've got these earrings they're like rose gold but I don't know if you can see the colour properly but yeah I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this outfit with a jacket one of my jackets to see what it looks like and also I'm not really going to put any shoes with the outfits because I'll leave that like up to you lot you can always put like Vans, Air Forces or Timberland boots with any of the outfits that I'm about to show you to be honest or any just any simple shoes will do like it's really up to you, I'm just trying to give you a lot of ideas. But yeah, let's put a jacket on with this. I decided to put it with this pink furry coat that I have. I feel like it goes really cute with the pink bodysuit turtleneck and then the printed. I don't even know what top this, what top would you have? What, what, how would you call this top? Like just a top, a tank top, I don't even know. But yeah, it goes good, goes well with the printed top as well. And then, obviously, I don't know what shoes you pair with this, but that's my first outfit. You know them ones where you're in the middle of recording, yeah? And you just feel like, jeez, look at me. Look at me, Jesse. <laughs> right, this is the second outfit. I'm using the same turtleneck top, but I'm actually got, like, two, um, grey joggers as you can see I've got these grey joggers and you can actually put these with air forces they look really cool but I feel like I'm not going to put a coat with this one because I don't know like I feel like you'd have to put maybe a couple, of, a couple of layers of like different tops underneath this one and then you just go out like this like no coat I don't know why but I just love this outfit really much like oh yeah it's a cute outfit but Let's get into the next outfit. This is my second outfit, so let's go into my third one. Right, this is my third outfit. Um, excuse the see-through bra, just because I didn't have time. I can't really bother to change it. But obviously you'd put like a black or white bra underneath this. Um, I've got this biker's furry coat as well. It's like crop top. And what I've actually done is it's black leggings with this oversized top that I got from Primark. It says, what does it say? I can't even see, it's like backwards. Um, it says, you, you totally can, that's what it says. So yeah, I put like a belt there in the middle just to like make it look more, just spice it up a little bit. Obviously I've got the same jewelry on. And you, I put this either with black air forces or my brown Timberlands, or even Vans would work. It would still look good. But yeah, that's like, my outfit my third outfit and this one it kind of looks like you put in effort but then not not too too much effort but i've kept it simple like the colors are simple so it's like black brown and white black brown and white and then if i put timbers it would still match the brown but yeah obviously with this makeup wise i don't really put that much so it's just put foundation you can put like mascara or lip gloss obviously with any of the outfits it won't really matter but yeah that's my third outfit right, this is the fourth outfit and I've got a Vogue tracksuit. And this one's, I uh, actually bought this from Portugal. I don't know if I got this in Portugal, but I don't know if my mum like, bought it here and then it got delivered to Portugal for me to wear when I went on holiday. But this one's another just chilled outfit. So I've got like the Vogue top, like jumper style, no hoodie. And then I've got the tracksuit as well, like the bottom joggers. But I've changed my socks and I actually have got this one that I bought from weekday if you got if you not know that brand i went to london with my uni and then we went to the shop and i actually got these pairs from there i was like you know what let me get it and then the side of the joggers obviously it's like white tape and it says vogue it's pretty cool and it's pretty nice and i would personally wear this without a coat or just like layer shirts underneath to make me to like to keep me warm and then shoes wise i feel like i'd put my 97s yeah 97s would go nice with this one and then bag wise, obviously I don't know, I always use the same bag, which is on the floor over there in the corner, if you can see where my fingers point. <laughs> so I think it'll go fine. But yeah, this is like my fourth outfit. I don't really wear this outfit that much, but I mean, it's a good idea to, I haven't really had the chance to wear it anyways. Like I bought it from Portugal, like, and I've only just started uni in a couple of weeks ago. So I haven't really had the chance to wear this at uni yet. But yeah, this is my fourth outfit. My fifth outfit, I feel like I'm losing count, 
like the struggle is to put this on like look at the, my, how messy my hair is like, i had to like quickly redo it again like oh my god look at that bit this is like from pretty little thing and it's the highest turtleneck top that i own it literally goes all the way up to my chin so it's really long so i've got to like fold the top bit but it's crop top so like it's really nice but i've got this biker's coat brown one to go with outfit and then i've got these jeans and a belt and you could literally put this with timberland boots black any shoes will look really good with this to be honest but yeah this is my is it fifth fifth outfit i think it's my fifth outfit if i'm wrong i apologize because i've lost count already but i think i'm just gonna stop saying which outfit this is and we're saying this is my other outfit instead of counting because i know i'm gonna lose count what for a second i thought I lost my earring as well i was like no nah. to do that again my mom had a timer on her phone so it cut my video but yeah i was saying so this is my other outfit because remember when i told you a lot about the studio session downstairs you can hear the music now so please try ignore that because I really want to record this video. But here's my other outfit. This coat I got from Portugal Bear, Bear Scar. I don't know if you heard of it, but the hoodie is my favourite bit. Just look at it. Yeah, yeah, but we can't really do that because my hair's getting get more messy than it already is. But I've got this white crop top baggy top with this blue jeans. And I really like this outfit, but I don't wear it that much. But it's alright. I feel like it's not the best outfit to be honest, like it's not really my favourite one, I wouldn't really wear it but it's just an idea like it's just there if you want to ever put white and blue and cream it sort of goes together and I put these with vans, grey vans, I've got grey vans so I put it with this one. The other, this is another outfit, I was about to say this is an other outfit when I'm probably going to be saying that word a lot of the time in this video and I've got hair in my mouth. Ugh. Right, so basically this top, obviously you're going to have to put like another white top underneath so you don't see your bra through with the little dots. But I've literally put it with these blue jeans that I have from Primark. They're so old and it, they're actually not even meant to be ripped. I had an accident in these, obviously. I must have like fell and ripped my knee. So I just made a hole there, a random hole there, a random hole here. I literally just changed the entire jeans and made it into like my own personalised one. And this top is crop top, obviously, and it does like a little diamond shape. So it goes higher up when it goes up to the belly button area, and then on the side it goes down. But it's it's a nice top. It's actually pretty warm, but obviously I said I recommend putting a top underneath so you don't, you don't see your bra through it, obviously. But yeah, with this coat, with this coat, with this outfit, you can even put one of the biker coats that I put in the other videos, but I'm not really gonna put an outfit for this one. Not outfit for this one see i'm even talking nonsense i'm not even gonna put a coat for this one i'm just gonna leave it how it is but yeah that's my other outfit right this is another outfit and this is a brown top from primark and then i've got this black dress i don't remember where it's from and i've just put like a belt in the middle and then i'm wearing this brown biker coat and i think this outfit's pretty cute and then some colored skin i think all my toes <laughs> some colored skin tights but yeah, this is like another outfit. It's nice. This one is not really, maybe not so much for winter, but obviously when it starts to be like being more warm and summery, then you can like wear stuff like this. So yeah, that's another outfit. Here's another outfit. It's all red. And it's another tracksuit as well. And I've got the same weekday socks. But yeah, this is another outfit. I haven't worn this one fully to uni either, but I plan on to and I tend on to as well. But yeah, all the jewelry's the same. That's pretty much it. And this one, I wouldn't pick, I wouldn't put a coat with this. I'd just layer like tops like I've done here and I'd just layer it so it's, I keep myself warm. But yeah, that's my other outfit. And then I would think I'd put just white Air Forces or black Air Forces with this. Or even 97s would look good. This is my last video. This is my last outfit. Let me just fix my necklace. Ignore how crease the, the joggers are. I literally had to run downstairs and get them because they were in the wash they were drying and obviously I didn't have time to iron anything but this is my favourite outfit of all of them I got this, obviously I haven't had the chance to wear the full outfit to uni but I'm going to do that soon but yeah this is a blue adidas is it adidas or adidas 
Adidas, Adidas. Do you know what? I'm gonna say Adidas. Top, it's not the top, it's like a little coat thing, and then the bottom joggers, and then I've got my weekday socks. So like, yeah, this is like a little baby bluey outfit. Baby blue is such a lovely colour. It's my favourite colour. And then the back of this is the best. It looks so cool. And then with this outfit, I put that puffer creamy coat with the hoodie fur on it. Actually, I'm going to put it on and then I'll show you. So yeah, I put it with this coat because look at the hoodie again. Like it is to die for. Obviously, my hair is just going to get in the way at the moment. But this, like this, and then Air Forces. I've got these baby blue Air Forces. Like it's white, and then the tick is the baby blue, so it matches with the outfit. But yeah, I'd literally wear this outfit like this. Let me try it. But yeah, that's my last outfit for uni. And that was my outfit ideas for uni, college or any other random day that you could wear it. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I know it'll show. But I'm falling